Hi, Rosebark Kids. This is Miss Burris coming to you from my house to your house. I have a story I want to read to you today from this book called Rhinos and Raspberries, Tolerance Tales for the Grades. And it's a book of short stories from different cultures that talk about different kinds of behaviors. The first one is called Raspberries, an American Tale of Cooperation. And it's a story about a little bird and a raspberry bush. Three little yellow birds lived in a hedge. Two flew away. Loop-de-loop, loop-de-loop. The third bird had only one wing and could not fly. Tweet, 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 she sang sadly. Pitter-pat, pitter-pat. A little dog trotted up to the hedge. Why the sad song, he inquired. Here's the little dog. My brothers are flying, loop-de-loop, loop-de-loop, to the raspberry bush across the street, sighed the little bird, and they have left me here all alone. We can get there on foot, sighed, said the little dog. So the bird and the dog hip-hop trip-trotted along the sidewalk. Pitter-pat, pitter-pat, tweet-tweet, tweet-tweet. At the corner, traffic zipped by. Beep-beep, honk-honk, zoom-zoom, whoosh. Tweet-tweet, cried the little bird, afraid for her life. We have to press the button, said the little dog. Then the traffic light will turn red, the cars will stop, and it will be safe to cross the street. The little bird jumped up and jumped up but she couldn't reach the button. The little dog reared up on his hind legs. He poked with his paws, nudged with his nose, and even swatted with his tail, but he couldn't reach it either. Traffic zipped by. There you can see the traffic. Beep, beep, honk, honk, zoom, zoom, whoosh. Chit, chatter, chit, chatter. What are you two up to? added a chatty chipmunk. We're trying to cross the street to get some delicious raspberries, said the bird, but we can't reach the walk signal button. I'll shimmy on up and press that button, the chipmunk said. She shimmied, but the pole was too smooth, and she slid and slid back down. Traffic zipped by. Beep, beep, honk, honk, zoom, zoom, whoosh. Along came a frog. Flippity-flop, flippity-flop. What you doing, asked the frog. So there's all the animals. We want to cross the street, but we can't reach the walk signal button, explained the little bird. Let me try, said the frog. He jumped and he jumped, flapping his floppy feet. He even tried with his long, long tongue, but he couldn't reach it either. Traffic zipped by. Beep, beep, honk, honk, zoom, zoom, whoosh. I have an idea, chirped the little bird, hip-hopping all around. Everyone lie down. Lie down, said the dog, the chipmunk, and the frog. Don't we want to be taller? Exactly, said the bird. She stepped onto the frog. Hee, hee, that tickles, giggled the frog. Now, Hop onto the chipmunk, instructed the little bird. So the frog, with the bird on his back, hopped onto the chipmunk. Oof, you're heavier than you look, groaned the chipmunk. Now, climb onto the dog, said the little bird. So the chipmunk, with the frog and the bird on her back, climbed onto the dog. Ouch, yipped the dog. Try not to pull my hair. But the chipmunk hung onto the dog's fur for dear life. Now stand up, said the little bird. So the dog, with the chipmunk, the frog, and the bird on his back, slowly stood up. They balanced like acrobats in a circus. Sway, oh, wibble, wobble. The little bird was high, high up. 
traffic zipped by. Beep, beep, honk, honk, zoom, zoom, whoosh. The little bird pecked the button and the light turned red. Traffic stopped. It was quiet. The dog, the chipmunk, the frog, and the bird looked this way. They looked that way. The walk signal said, walk. So they did. Pitter pat, pitter pat, swale, wibble wobble, tweet tweet. That was quite a sight. But nobody saw them do it. Just at that moment, the driver coming this way looked down to change the radio station in his car. The driver going that way consulted her map. When they reached the other side, the dog slowly kneeled down and the bird, the frog, and the chipmunk hopped off and raced to the raspberry bush. Tweet, 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 pitter-pat, pitter-pat, chit-chatter, chit-chatter, flippity-flop, flippity-flop, loop-de-loop, loop-de-loop, where they all ate delicious raspberries all day long. I wanted to read that story to you, Rose Park kids, because this is definitely a time for cooperation. We're all working as hard as we can to help you continue learning. Your parents are cooperating with the school. You're cooperating with your parents. The teachers are cooperating with your parents. And it's a big circle. We all just have to do whatever we can do to get through this time and try to continue learning. We miss you all so very much and can't wait until the day we can all walk back there into that school building at Rose Park Elementary. Send me an email if you want to, burrisn at billingschools.org. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.